Uh, I thought they competed well. Uh, it's a few things that were uh, thrown at them that, you know, uh, that were new. And it was fun to see them react to it. And uh, um, the most part, the effort. I was impressed. I was, uh, I was happy with the effort from the guys. Uh, I felt like, you know, um, some of the younger guys are on the way. And then some of the older guys uh, um, really showed up during the scrimmage. So. Uh, Tommy has come a long ways, man. He's 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 progressing. The kid has so much, so much uh, passion and enthusiasm in practice. Uh, I mean, he plays with the heart on the out on the outside of the jersey, man. I'm just talking about. He's into into it every rep. Very passionate about competing, uh, flying around, um, sparking the defense. Uh, doing what you asked him to do. Um, and to be a young guy, is, you know, it's very rewarding to coach somebody, somebody that day to day keeps showing up like that. So. His natural talent, he seems physically a little bit like a combination of Cam and Quinn. Like he's a little longer than Cam. How, how much physical potential does he have just as a, a player that can just do a lot of things physically? Yeah, I think Tommy, if he, if he, I, I told him this and I said, hey, Tommy, if you, continue to do the things that you're doing every day. You're getting better every single day. And if you continue to do the things that you've been doing and then embrace it like you've embraced it so far and just giving him motivation to go forward. But if he continue to do that, I think he'll be one of the ones that uh, leave this school that's either, you know, name is left on the walls or on the outside of the stadium and inside the stadium somewhere. Um, he just got that much ability to play the game. And um, just, you know, but, but, but just giving them the motivation to show up every day and continue because it takes a lot. It's not just, you know, training camp that you got to be that guy. You got to be that guy. Like those guys that name is on so in the inside of that stadium, those guys, you know, every part of their life was like that. So, you know, just giving them the motivation that he can be like that and if he continue to extend the way that he's doing and embrace it. Um, with everything you do. Is so, there, what would uh, somebody in that room have to do to maybe overtake Miles Farmer and Marquise Buford and say, or have they not settled that yet? Well, when you say overtake, you mean, you mean what? Do you feel like those are your, your top two safeties? No, I, I got I got guys that are um, coming along. I got guys that are a little bit banged up that's just coming back. I got guys that are you know. Um, can easily be in that first group, you know, just, to, to, you know, just depend on how much they can get ready for this first game. Got new guys that's coming in. Um, so, you know, it's competitive throughout this whole deal. It's probably be throughout the whole season to be like that as well. So um, overtaking a position can happen in the day, you know, um, especially with how tight the secondary is as far as competing is concerned. Nope. What have you seen from Omar Brown? I mean, has he been able to practice much? I know you didn't get him in the spring. Uh, where is he at kind of in that safety mix? Yeah, Omar Brown is definitely in the mix. Uh, you know, um, practice with the ones today. Uh, he's practicing pretty much every group that we got, if that means anything. But he practiced with the ones today. He's doing a great job. Um, it's fun to have him around. Team like him. Um, the guys in the room like him. Um, he's earning his respect um, with his effort. And I think that's the best way to earn your respect from a team is through your effort. So. Did you watch a lot of this film in Iowa and kind of study him when you took him on? And, uh, like, what kind of feel did you have for Omar before he got here? Um, you know, I felt like he could, definitely was a really good football player. Uh, you know, um, even though, you know, playing in a different league, I thought that potentially he can get here um, and uh, help us out in the secondary. Um, and he's doing that. So um, Omar is a, is a very good get for our, for our team um, on special teams, on defense. He's going to play a lot of good football here. Not that, not that you want necessarily help as a secondary, but 
are you seeing the kind of pass rush that can help your secondary? Uh, from what are you talking about? Are you talking about? Has the pass rush improved in a way that makes it easier to cover? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, in football practice, I mean, football practice, you know, it's not like our guy's going to stop covering. It's not like the quarterback is not going to make that pass in practice because we don't touch the quarterback. Um, but I think, I, mean, I think everybody's working extremely hard. Um, and I'm just trying to answer your question as best as I could. Everybody's working extremely hard. And those guys up front is working just as hard as my guys in the back end. And we all know that stuff works hand to hand. You know, if my guys can cover for a half a second extra, and you know, that helps those guys up front get to the quarterback. If those guys can fluster that quarterback up, up top, it helps my guys um, as well. So um, I think in football practice as a unit, um, we're doing a good job of, of working together. Um, hey, we haven't played a game yet, you know, so it's, you know, all I can talk about is the guys that, you know, we're working hard to put ourselves in position when it's time to play.